This is Norman Woodside Foley. I'm back. I'm a radio broadcaster and I like to get down. I am down. How can you laugh? Well, you know I'm down. No, I said that with a full mouth. I'm down. Baby, I'm down. I'm down. Oh, I'm down. My daughter's in trouble. And how can you laugh when you know my daughter's down? I'll tell you who did. So she got them to laugh. She got, my daughter had the jailer laughing many times because she was laughing in jail. Not because she was happy was there. Because she's a happy human being. And they're jading her. And they always had her husband as the king of jading her. Worst thing ever happened to my daughter, the man that I had marry her. And I'm sorry I did. He knocked her up and I had to force him to marry her in the judge's chambers with a shotgun struck to his chest. In front of the most criminal judge in Portland. Married my daughter. Mm -hmm. Lee Eby. Very influential at Clackamas County Jail, and I will get a hold of him. A wonderful man who took it very personal that I complimented him on the quality of the jailer, and he said that's what exactly what we try to do. Thank you. Thank you, Lee B. You always shine in my thoughts. You do. There's something wonderful about Clackamas County Jail and the jailing staff. Do you want to bet? Keep that well in mind. I would send your children. <laughs> Get them to do a crime. Send your kids to Clackamas County Jail. This is a wonderful staff, and it's better and superior to most any psychologist or any place you can send them. <laughs> and they will talk up to your children and remind them how priceless they are. They did my daughter. I don't see why they would do anything different to yours. Unless you're maybe your daughter's spitting in their face. And thank God my daughter had the brains not to do that in jail. I don't find my daughter spitting in anything's face, quite frankly. She's a lovely, lovely girl, very jaded. And I think the jailer just brought out her normal behavior. That's all. And the others are mocking it. And the jailer had the brains to not mock it and just plain live normal with her. Mm -hmm. And I'm very grateful. Thank you, Mr. Eby. Thank you very much. It'll always mean a lot to me, and I'll tell you, when you sob and your grief, those tears of grief can instantly turn to tears of joy, remembering someone like Lee Eby. Yes, they can. And you have hope, and you go knock on another door. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir.